Hey guys, Erica White here again. So this is the third video in my investment journey series. So if you missed the first couple of videos, be sure to go check those out. From the first videos, you'll know that I'm starting my investment journey with a thousand pounds using Charles Stanley Direct. That is a do-it-yourself online investment platform. Hey Rob, it's me again. I just need a little bit more of your time here. So I'm into the Charles Stanley Direct system and there's a lot of information to get around. So where do I start when it comes to choosing my investments? Can you just help me out a little bit? Sure, building a selection of investments and getting the balance of risk and return can take time and it depends on a number of different factors. Investment goals, time scale, and it will also be shaped by the volatility, that's the extent of the ups and downs in the value of the investments that's acceptable to you. And you need to think about diversification. Diversification, this is a word I'm hearing a lot of. Can you explain to me what exactly it means? Yes, there can be a lot of jargon in the investment world. Diversification means having a mixture of different investments or asset type uh, types in your portfolio. It's been called the only free lunch in investing because it can reduce the risk in your portfolio without compromising returns. Spreading savings between different investments can lead to a less bumpy ride overall. If one of the investments is performing poorly, another one could be making up for it. So it means not having reliance on one investment performing well, but it's still maintaining the potential for good long-term returns. So how do you do that exactly? Can you talk me through the different investment types there are? Yeah, the main investments that can be considered for a portfolio are shares and bonds. They have different characteristics, but unlike cash, they can all fall as well as rise in value to a greater or lesser extent. Buying shares, also known as equities, means owning a tiny slice uh, of a business. Shareholders participate in the growth of that business if it does well and often receive a portion of the profits through dividend payments. For instance, if you own a thousand shares in a company worth one pound each and the company pays a five pence dividend, you get 50 pounds. Income from dividends is sometimes overlooked, but it's a really, really important element of investing in the stock market. Bonds tend to be lower risk than shares and having a mixture of the two can be beneficial. These represent the borrowings of institutions who wish to raise money. So in the case of corporate bonds, the borrower is a company. And for gilts, the borrower is the UK government. Typically they pay a fixed amount of income each year and they, uh, and they repay the original loan at the end, end of the term. They're also known as fixed interest investments. All right, this is getting really complicated for me. How do I keep things super, super simple? Yeah, choosing individual shares and bonds is really difficult. It's hard to get sufficient diversification at low cost. And so one simple alternative is collective investments such as funds. Each fund invests in dozens or sometimes hundreds of different companies or bonds or properties or whatever the asset uh, class is that's being invested in. In this way, it's possible to own a more diverse portfolio with a much lower investment amount. So a fund essentially is a shortcut to diversification chosen by people whose job it is to select assets? Yeah, that's right. It tends to be easier to make your own decisions when choosing funds which invest in particular areas rather than individual investments underlying them because that takes a lot more research. There's still a rather large choice. There's over 3,000 different funds but if you aren't confident in choosing individual investments, funds are a great alternative because they invest in a variety of those investments with an expert uh, fund manager or investment manager overseeing what to buy and sell. I like the sounds of that. So uh, what funds does Charles Stanley Direct have to offer? Can you just elaborate on those? So at Charles Stanley, there is a fund range which provides uh, diversified portfolios in one easy to buy investment without the need to invest in anything else. So it's ideal for uh, savers or investors with lower amounts of money. Um, there's five funds to choose from, which are designed to meet a broad uh, risk level. 
and they're actively managed by Charles Stanley's investment team. And that means you don't need to actually monitor and change investments yourself. As long as it's uh, to, the, to the risk level that you're happy with, it's uh, the rest of the investment decisions are done for you. So that's one way to get started. Okay, I'm really liking the sounds of this now. So how do I choose which fund or funds are best for me? So on the Charles Stanley Direct website, there's a dedicated page for these five funds and you can click on the different options. Firstly, you're asked, what are your investment goals? That's growth or income. Growth means growing your money, aiming to grow your money over the longer term, or income, which means using the capital to try and produce a regular income. Um, after that, you're asked uh, about your level of risk that you want to take, the, your risk tolerance. Um, and there's uh, four, four levels, which is cautious, balanced, growth, and adventurous. Cautious is uh, lower risk. Balanced means medium risk. Growth means higher risk, and adventurous, even higher risk again. Once you've chosen from these options, then you're provided with the detailed information on the asset allocation. That's how the investments in the fund are diversified over different uh, uh, asset classes and individual investments. And you can also read the key information in the fact sheet, which also details the top 10 holdings and the performance of the funds. All right, cool. So I think I got the hang of this now. Rob, thank you so much for taking this time to break this down for me. I'm really understanding it now. That's no problem. No, no problem at all. Thanks, Erica. So there you have it, I'm all done. I've invested a thousand pounds using Charles Stanley Direct. Now, I just have to wait. So thanks so much for watching these videos. I'll be sure to give you some updates and follow-up videos as my portfolio grows. Thanks again.